the Austrian auspice located between the third, or next to the third and fourth station of the Via Dolorosa at the Muslim Quarter. Today, it's one of the best um, hotels inside the old city. Excellent breakfast, excellent food, great beer, and an amazing uh, viewpoint. And we are heading to the roof of the Austrian auspice, but let me show you where we are. The three domes that you see in front of you is the third station of the Via della Rosa. That's where Jesus fell for the first time and you can actually see the facade of the Austrian auspice. We're going to climb the roof of it and from there we will see an amazing view. It will cost you five shekels each and it's worth it. Austrian auspice. They have an amazing garden. I call it heaven. Then let's go in. Look how beautiful it is. The good thing here is that you can use the restrooms, which are the cleanest one in the old city, and you can climb up to the roof via the elevator. We're climbing up by foot because it's such a beautiful place. And I want you to see, I want you to see the saloon. The rooms are big, very simple, but the location is amazing. Look at it. Mm. Do you know the play, uh, the piano? Hmm, books. That's the five shekels. And we are entering. Now the view is amazing. And first, before asking me what it is, let's look at it and enjoy it. I'm sure that you do have so many questions now. I will try to answer a lot of them. Start with it. A lot of you will enter to the city through Jaffa Gate. All right, can you see the three flags there? This is Jaffa Gate. And Herod's fortress was there too. Uh, wider, because as you can see, it's the highest place of the city. I don't want to disturb those two people and I don't want them to disturb me. Then let's start with, I know that you want to talk about the Dome of the Rock, we will reach there. Let's talk about Mount of Olives. According to what we believe, Mount of Olives is the place that the Messiah will enter, the Jewish Messiah. And for that, so sorry about the wind, but it's actually the breeze is amazing because it's quite hot here now. And the white area that you see there, I hope that you see it, this is the Jewish cemetery. They believe when the Jewish Messiah will come, they will be the first one who will resurrect. Then the cemetery is from the time of uh, King David and up. To the left of it, another important place is the Ascension Church. You can see the tower? 
To the right of the tower, there's a small minaret. Then this is the exact spot of the ascension. And um, Jesus promised us to come back from the same spot. Today, the ascension site is a mosque, but you as Christians can go there and pray. Another place that you can see there, it's not on top of it. And because the sun is in our eyes, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to show it to you. I'm almost sure that you can see um, a, a kind of a black dome. It looks like a teardrop but upside down. This is Dominus Flavit. It's a Catholic site. That's where um, Jesus saw the city of Jerusalem and went. Then, um, for the Christians, Jesus would come back from here and for the Muslims Allah will build a bridge between Mount of Olives and Jerusalem and all the good disciples will cross it safely. Then this is the importance of Mount of Olives. You cannot see that far far away I can see or I can imagine because I know it's there the mountains of Jordan the Moab mountains between those mountains and us, a Mount of Olives, is the Judean Desert and the Jordan Valley, Jordan River and the Dead Sea. And now, in front of you, you can see the Dome of the Rock and to the right of it, al Aqsa Mosque. Before we will talk about that, let's talk about the Jews because they've been here before the Muslims. Um, this is the site of the Jewish Temple and um, the Jews had two temples, one of King Solomon, the other one was built by King Herod. King Herod had a problem because beneath the Dome of the Rock, and listen to the name of it, there's a rock. And that rock, according to the Jews, is Evan Ashtia, the foundation stone. When God created the world, he had to start from somewhere, and he started it from there. Then um, the story of Abraham and Isaac, was there. Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac there. And then God told the Jews to build his house on top of it. Then the Holy of the Holy for the Jews is not the Western Wall. The Holy of the Holy of the Jews is now in the hands of the Muslims and this is the foundation stone. Then King Herod had a problem because that stone was so small and he wanted to build a massive temple. Then he destroyed everything that was around it and create a plaza. On top of the plaza, he could build a Jewish temple that was between two to three times higher and bigger than the Dome of the Rock. That temple been destroyed 70 AD, uh, 70 AD and 600 years later, Muhammad came to here according to the Muslim tradition. He came to Al-Aqsa, which is the far, far away mosque. Here it is, my finger is touching it. And then he walked to the foundation stone ascended him to heaven and met God himself who gave him the five prayers of the day. And when he went back, he met Gabriel, the angel, who told him to choose between two glasses, one of wine and one of milk, and he chose the milk. And in that case, the angel told him, now we cannot drink any more alcohol, but we are not adding any more chapters to the Quran. And in that case, uh, although it's only the third important place, Mecca and Medina are much more important for the Muslims, this is an important site for them as well. We are looking at the Muslim quarter, part of us, I mean, we are at the Austrian hospice, as is at the Muslim quarter. The Jewish quarter is right there. You can see now two domes. Until a few months ago, you could see only one dome, the white one. Here it is. This is um, a, a synagogue that was built after the Jordanian destroyed in 1948. It was built in 2010. And next to it, they are renovating another um, synagogue that had been destroyed by the Jordanians in 1948 when they occupied the Jewish quarter. Then the Jewish quarter is new, but beneath it is so many museums that can take you back to the time of King Herod, the time of Jesus. Such an amazing place to visit. We are at the Via Dolorosa, which is start there. 
Here you can see a beautiful Armenian Catholic Church and that's where the third and the fourth station located. That's where Jesus fell for the first time and that's Mary, when Mary the mother saw him and you can see they are renovating now uh, one of the domes. And it goes like that and then all the way up until you will reach the two domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the place that Jesus was crucified, died, buried, and resurrected. The problem is that it's not outside the wall according to the Bible. And look at that. This is, I mean, that part is inside the city. Vatican flag. flag. I'm sure that you ask me yourself what this flag is for. This is the Vatican flag. Then in that case, some believes that it's not the real site of the crucifixion. And according to them, here you can see Damascus Gate from the inside. I hope that you will hear it. That's crazy. But outside of it, there's another option. It's called the Garden Tomb. And that's where uh, the Church of England, many the Church of England can show you the, um, um, the place that he was crucified, died, buried, and resurrected. Uh, it's called the Garden Tomb. You can actually watch uh, it on my video. And if I'm talking about that, two things I will ask you to do. The first one is to subscribe my channel and to send it to all of your friends. I do have more than 20,000 videos already. Secondly, if you want to uh, support me, then you can do that too. Sadly, um, uh, the tours arrived, but I just for four days, six days, sorry, uh, this uh, month. Uh, not a lot of them are here and I uh, prefer to prepare a video for you, but I need your support. You can do that via um, Buy Me a Coffee or um, PayPal. It's at my description. You can always ask me for those links. I will send it to you. And um, through Google, if you write Zai Shaked, my name, uh, PayPal or Zai Shaked, Buy Me a Coffee, you will find it as well. I will, I, I will be very happy if you will do that. Then what else? Where is the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall? Can you see the valley that goes all the way there? There are two trees there. And the Western Wall is at the right side of it. You cannot see it because it's in the valley. Where is Bethlehem? See the hill there behind it? Where is Mount Zion, you ask me? For that, I want to show you how small is their city. Remember Jaffa Gate? That's the beginning. And in less than 20 minutes, you will reach the end of the city. Um, the Tang Adam um, Lion, Lion's Gate is right there. And the beginning of the end from north to south. For that, I must go backward. Until it will fall the Austrian flag. Then, all right, it's difficult to see it. But you can see kind of a tower. And to the left of the tower, wait a minute, is that the tower? Ah, here it is. To the left of the tower, you can see a top pyramid of, of the Dormition Church. Uh, that is Mount Zion, the place of the room of the Last Supper, the tomb of King David, also Mary, the tomb of uh, Oscar Schindler. Then this is the beginning of the city. Um, Mount Zion is outside the old city, and the end of the old city is at Damascus Gate. Not a, not a big city. For the um, European of us, one kilometer by one kilometer. For the Americans of us, half a mile by half a mile. Then what we can see from here. Outside the city, you can see um, Notre Dame de Sion, here it is, with Mary and, and Jesus. Excellent view, excellent food. Uh, San Salvador Church, right.
right here. This is the kind of the Vatican area, and the next to it, it's the uh, Franciscans area, the Dome of the Rock we know, the Dermer Church, the lots of the Lutheran is in front here. Excellent view from there, but this time I'm not climbing up. Not because the view is not beautiful, and not because it's difficult. They built so many fences there, that it, and it's so difficult for me to take a video of it. Still, uh, if you will ride the church over in terminal viewpoint, and you will be able to see my uh, uh, video of it, then the church quarter is there. Christian quarter is around uh, the church of the Holy Sepulchre, and the biggest quarter is right here, uh, which is the um, Muslim quarter, the Armenian quarter. If you saw the Dormition church, is just a little bit in it. It's difficult to see it from there. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, why there are Israeli flags at the Muslim quarter? Those are um, buildings that were bought by, with full money from the Muslims that lived here uh, by the Jews. Uh, is it okay or not? It doesn't matter. It's here. There's a, there are a few more buildings around. This is reality. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, if you like that video, then don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and watch others. Please comment. I love to read what you're reading and try to behave. Uh, it's not a political uh, statement here. Um, I decided not to read any more political statement. It's uh, not part of that uh, mission. I love everyone. The, um, see you in my next video. Ask me whatever you want, support me if you can, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.